More than 300,000 children from around the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan are having health checkups because of fears about possible thyroid disorders from radiation. The meltdown at Fukushima has added to public unease in Japan about nuclear energy, and some experts say their warnings about the risks were ignored. Our science correspondent David Shookman has been reporting on the nuclear question and has been given rare access to the Hamaoka nuclear power station. This is the friendly face of Japanese nuclear power, bright and reliable. An exhibition to persuade the public that getting electricity this way is safe. And nuclear fission has started. But people have also seen a much darker image. Men struggling inside the Fukushima power station for the past six months. An opinion is shifting, even inside the plant itself. None of the staff can speak to the media openly, but this engineer from Fukushima agreed to meet us. To hide his identity, we've altered the video, but this is what he said. That if people think nuclear power is safe, I'd like them to work with me for a day in the rubble. They'd see a disaster at Fukushima, and if, after that, they still say it's safe, they're just ignorant. Most of Japan's nuclear power stations, like this one at Hamaoka, are now shut down. Here, the 2,000 staff are just keeping things ticking over. And none of the plants will reopen till they're better defended, especially from the sea. The big shock for the Japanese nuclear industry was that the earthquake was stronger and the tsunami bigger than anyone expected. So they're having to take emergency measures. Here, they can no longer rely on this huge embankment for protection against the sea. They're going to build an 18-metre wall just the other side of it. It will be installed A company the video road, explains how this massive new sea hill. defense will work. And on a rare visit inside, we were shown how the power station is already being made more waterproof. This is a reactor building, this waterproof building. So it was flooding that caused the catastrophe at Fukushima, so here the backup systems are now installed up on the roof. Officials hope the public will be reassured. We confirm that tsunamis will not come over our embankment. We still think our nuclear power plant is safe enough. But at the government's earthquake research center, they're worried. They've simulated in graphic detail a really huge tsunami that struck Japan more than a thousand years ago, and they say no one listens. According to the director, Yukinobu Okamura, he warned that a tsunami could overwhelm Fukushima, but they put off doing anything about it. In the past, Japan quietly relied on nuclear power. The question now is whether the next generation will still want it. David Shukman, BBC News, at Hamaoka in Japan.